what's going on guys it's Shan we are back here again with another video and the time has finally come here is my new car 2024 Kia Forte um, brand new brand new look at that had it for about two weeks now it's got a little bit of dirt on it on the bottom and stuff there but yeah brand new so here's the key what the key's looking like it's got a nice little switch blade thing and all your stuff there this is actually the spare key i got two keys but here it is not bad this is the lxs by the way not the gt and not the i don't know if there even is a standard one but forte got the temporary tag on there look at that i love the wheels the wheels look so good oh here we are look at this now i'm recording on my iphone so it's gonna look a little weird now i've already got some stuff down in there like i said i've had it for about two weeks now so uh we will go ahead and start it up it's very quiet very quiet runs the system check and everything okay sorry about that my carplay kind of connected and it like disrupted my video so uh, there's probably gonna be a cut in that so it did like a little system checkup uh what i was saying is that we had uh, it came with 30 miles uh i drove, drove it up to almost 300 miles now since i've had it for about two weeks um it's almost on empty i'm gonna have to fill that up so um, so if you look down here, it's got your lane assist. That might also be in the technology package. I'm not very sure, but you can see the kind of blind spot detector there. Um, I like these vents. These vents are pretty cool. Uh, never had anything like that. Uh, my previous car before this was a 2012 Chevy Impala. Went ahead and traded it in, got 2000 for it. This uh, model here with the technology package was 22,000, got it down to 20,000. And I've been a big believer in not buying new vehicles simply because we all know they lose value right when you drive it off the lot. However, when you look at the uh, price of the used vehicles and the new vehicles, they go hand in hand. And this is one of the cheapest ones today. It's got a, a drive mode here. Uh, it's also got an S for sport. So if we click drive mode, it'll go to sport click it one more time it'll go to smart i think smart kind of it says it's supposed to help you with gas mileage and stuff so but i keep it on normal um so if you like hit this right here you got uh driver assistance all that good stuff you can play with all that stuff it's, it's pretty cool um and then you got uh your tire uh, pressure you have to drive to display it uh, your lane assist stuff here I don't really know what all it does but uh, and then this is the screen you're probably going to use the most the uh, miles per hour which I love um, and then yeah so it's got this screen here don't really know the size of it but uh, I got my uh, iPhone hooked up to it and uh, you can uh, do a whole bunch of stuff okay with that. I keep messing with the uh, the CarPlay and it's kind of disrupting my video every time so uh, it's got um, all this stuff here, very cool. So it's obviously got the uh, hand, uh, hands-free driving stuff. Um, real quick, shout out to the uh, class of 2022 graduates. Shout out to you guys. Uh, but yeah, it's got all that stuff, your user manual, and uh, you know you can hook up Apple CarPlay and whatnot. Um, still got that tag on there, haven't taken that off. Uh, it's got the, uh, look at this. It doesn't have a button handbrake. It's got the, uh, the original, you know, love it I, my actual my other car had that like a button it didn't have this this is pretty cool um and it's got a little storage in there back seat nothing back there except for i got a blanket back there but that's pretty much it um let's just turn this stuff on Bang. very nice very nice indeed uh so down here it's got your uh lever for your gas um cap or whatever and then your trunk as well, it's got some stuff in there. Not bad. Got a keyboard, tools, jumper cables, all that good stuff. And then if I go ahead and sit in the back, now I keep my seat up like very, like very close to the driver's spot. So I got tons of room back here. 
Uh, we were sitting there, probably doesn't. But uh, it didn't have any charger cables in the back, which does kind of suck. Or not cables. Um, uh, you know, inputs and whatever, whatever you call them. Uh, it's got nice cup holders on the side and even up there in the door over there. So, yeah. And what's also cool is uh, when you're driving at night, all the lights, they all light up red. It's so cool. It looks very cool. I might throw up a picture on screen of that really quickly. I don't know. Um, as far as lights go, you got one there and one there. And you can hear the engine going. I love the new Kia emblem as well. That looks very good compared to the old one. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. That's the new car. Brand new car, 20,000 bucks.